I think we all knew that this was inevitable, quite frankly. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to my kitchen. I hope you're so well. We have a very exciting box in front of us right now. This is the Great British Bake Off Bake at Home subscription kit. This is the February edition. I have got a rolling subscription, so every month I'm gonna be receiving the Bake Off box. I thought this could be fun making a little series on my channel where every month I bake along the Bake Off box with you guys. I put it up to Instagram with much deliberation about what we should call this series. And I think that the overall consensus was let's get baked. So welcome to episode one of many of let's get baked. Now, if you are also getting the Bake Off box every month, then I would love it if you would bake it with me. Play this video as you bake and we can bake together. I think that would be really, really cute. This month's bake is a traditional chocolate cake. Delicious, can't go wrong. So let's open a wrap, shall we? Da, 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 da. Oh, look. So it comes beautifully packaged. Look at that packaging. Seeing as it's the first box, I'm gonna just chat you through it a little bit. So this is how it comes packaged. Super cute. We have the little illustration, which looks like the ones from the show, which is absolutely adorable. And then here are the recipe cards. So it tells you what comes in the box as well as instructions. Every month you get a piece of kitchenware. So this month, is an adorable cake stand. And then of course your ingredients. We have flour, cocoa powder, caster sugar, as well as chocolate chips. If you haven't got tea, grab one. And if you're someone who likes to have a recipe book, this would be such a cute kind of scrapbook idea. You can put the lovely illustration with the recipe and direction card kind of next to it. And you're slowly building your little baking book. So, so cute. And then we've got a fold out telling us exactly what to do. Okay, so if you've got your box, if you've got your ingredients, grab them now and let's bake. Okay guys, so we've got the bake along with us here. First step, heat the oven to 180 degrees. Grease two 20 centimeter sponge tins. Okay, I've got two sponge tins. I'm gonna line them. In a medium bowl, I am gonna take the dry ingredients. So that is the cocoa powder, caster sugar, and the flour. The flour actually has baking powder in it, so that's all done. The sieve is dirty, guys, so don't judge me. I'm not gonna use the sieve. Shh. <laughs> I hope this fits, actually. This bowl's probably too small. Here we go, slightly bigger bowl. Now the flour, cocoa powder, and then a half a teaspoon of salt, because this is quite sweet. Don't tell Mary Berry, okay, that I didn't sift it. So I'm gonna use a whisk to combine it because I didn't sieve it, or sift it, sorry, just to break up any lumps. Okay, it says to set this one aside, and then take another bowl. We wanna whisk together the milk, oil, and warm water. I should have mentioned before, for these boxes, you do need to pick up a few ingredients. So basically all the wet ingredients. So butter, raspberries to decorate, and then we need double cream and whole milk as well. So 250 ml of milk. Pop that in. 130 ml of vegetable oil. And then you're also gonna want 230 ml of warm water too. These are very strange textures mixing together right now. Okay, and then it says beat in the egg, so I'm gonna do one at a time. I haven't actually broken the yolk yet. Where's the yolk? There we go. Okay, now we want to add these dry ingredients and it says add them one third at a time. So, oh, I'm gonna add, let's say that's a third and mix. Oh my God, that is rich already. 
and it says to be careful there are no pockets of flour. We have barely put any in so far and it's already so chocolatey, oh my goodness. This is definitely gonna be one chocolate cake. Oh my god. I've not actually made a chocolate cake in like such a long time. Tim often says that he would really like a chocolate cake, so I hope he likes this. I'm also gonna do a doorstop drop every time I bake these to my friends and also a piece to my dad because me and Tim don't need to eat a whole cake every month. But yeah, hopefully everyone enjoys their monthly cake as much as we do. That's the last of it. Oh my God, it is so thick. And this bowl is far too small, oh my God. This is also a really, really easy recipe. Um, they rate them from like difficulty level, how long it's gonna take. Um, and this says it serves eight to 10 people. So Tim and I can have two pieces each. Wow, look at that. That is a masterpiece. I think there's no denying that that is a chocolate cake. Now we just pop them in the tins and uh, get them in the oven. So I'm gonna try and get this roughly half and half. I feel like my baking tins, my liners are too small. Or too big. <laughs> We're just going for it guys. I should have just greased them. <laughs> I'm gonna say they are roughly 50-50. Lucky for me, we're not actually on the Bake Off. I forgot to mention, do you like my apron? I got this um, when I did a like a press event for Soap and Glory. We went to the Great British Bake Off pop-up shop thing they used to do where you do like a baking competition. And it was for Christmas in 2018, I think. It was a while ago. And yeah, it's got my name on it. And it's great because it says the Great London Bake and it's very Bake Off inspired. And it matches my outfit. It was like it was meant to be. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little bit worried about my cakes because the baking sheets are either... I, I should have made a decision. I was like, okay, they're too small to go up the whole side of the tin, but they were too big to just line the bottom. I should have just lined the bottom, but I didn't. I just left it. And there's cake going on the other side of the baking sheet. And now I'm a little bit concerned that they're not gonna be the neatest cakes in the world, but it's okay. <laughs> now what I'm gonna do is clean up, um, have a bit of a tidy up, charge my camera. I'll see you guys in half an hour when my cakes have baked and we'll make the ganache. I'm a little bit nervous to be honest about making this ganache. I've never made a ganache before, so I hope it's delicious. This cake is smelling pretty amazing. <laughs> I just got them out of the oven. They look pretty great. I'm a little bit scared this one's slightly underdone. It's sinking around the edge. This one looks perfect. This one I think is slightly undercooked, but I'm sure it'll be okay. <laughs> we let them cool for 10 minutes and I'm gonna get working on the ganache. Would you look at those beauties? So now we're gonna start making the ganache. So I'm gonna take a bowl with 10 grams of butter. Bang on, perfect. Also adding in the chocolate. Lush. Now you're gonna wanna put 300 ml of double cream in a pan two teaspoons of white sugar. One, two. Okay, now it says bring to just a boil. Okay, once this has come to a boil or just about a boil, so it's just about to start boiling now, you take it off the heat and then you pour it over the chocolate chips and you don't stir it for a minute, you just let it melt. So this is just about coming to a boil now, like that. So I'm gonna take it off the heat and I am going to pour it over the chocolate and I'm not gonna stir it yet. You just let it do its thing. Yeah. 
Oh my god. I reckon that was about a minute. I'm scared that I've ruined the ganache, my friends. Is this good? Just stir until smooth and shiny, it says. I don't mean to brag, but I would say that's pretty glossy. Okay, it says to let this cool for 20 minutes so that it gets nice and thick. So that obviously you can use it to ice. Okay guys, so we have got some cooled cakes. I have popped the bottom sponge on the cake tower. <laughs> it's not straight. Oh my God, it's not straight. That's gonna destroy me. That'll do. Okay, I actually can't take the fact that it's not straight. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It is time to do the ganache. I have let the ganache cool for actually quite some time. I don't wanna fall at the last hurdle. To decorate, place your sponge on the cake stand and spread four tablespoons of ganache over the top and smooth. Okay, one. It feels very runny. I think I'm gonna um, put the ganache in the... I feel like putting it in the fridge is a risk. Do this. Oh yeah, spread it out. Oh my god. <gasps> wow. Oh wait, no, I did it wrong. <laughs> I was gonna flip it. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> right, I'm gonna pop the ganache in the fridge for like five minutes because I don't trust that it's cool enough to ice with yet. Okay, I ended up flipping it and it's uh, very wonky. <laughs> it's not the neatest cake I've ever made, <laughs> but we're just gonna go with it. So let's see if the ganache is set. Honestly, the ganache still feels very runny to me. I'm a bit confused. Let's just go for it. Let's just do it. Place the second sponge on top with the flat side facing up and gently press down. Cover the top and the sides with the remaining ganache this is gonna run absolutely everywhere how is this the right consistency I guess let's just I mean no that's so runny <laughs> oh god I think okay we're just gonna slow and steady everyone okay this has now had well over an hour so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go for it it may be a bit messy but you know what Nobody's perfect, okay? This could be... Oh God, here we go. Mary Berry, if you're watching, I'm sorry. How, how, how? Okay, so this is just not a masterpiece, <laughs> but we are gonna persevere. I think, right, this is as thick as this is gonna go. It's kind of worked like a crumb coat now. This is better. <gasps> okay, this may actually work but I've wasted honestly the amount of icing that ended up on this work surface I've wasted so much of the icing which is very very sad so I'm only gonna put a bit on the top just so that the raspberry stick and then I guess the rest I will put on the bottom thank goodness I was really scared that this was just gonna be like an enormous fail you can see well I don't know if you can actually but I've had to do a lot of cleaning up. It's been quite a messy process. I mean, I never expected to be like uh, the star baker, but I'm a, I'm a competent baker and I'm, I can't believe that I struggled this much with the ganache. I really thought it was gonna be, it was straightforward at the beginning and then it just started to slowly deteriorate. Okay, this is the best we are gonna get and it is an absolute mess. And then the finishing touch, they say raspberries on the top. So I guess, hopefully this bit is foolproof, but honestly, we will find out. I bet you they start falling off. Instead of focusing on me, I've been focusing on you. It is finally done. Guys, it's literally dark outside. <laughs> this has taken me all day. I have a few comments. I wouldn't say this is the neatest uh, chocolate ganache cake I've ever seen in my life, but it is made with a lot of love and a lot of blood and a lot of sweat and a lot of tears. It's so dark, it's so dark. 
The recipe says to let your ganache sit for at least 20 minutes. I raise you three hours. Definitely make sure your ganache is properly set because otherwise it becomes an absolute mess like mine. I wanna go try and get some decent pictures, apparently in the dark, of me with this cake and then we'll come and do a taste test. And then we're gonna go and drop it round to our friends' houses. I am so tired. <laughs> this had better be the most delicious cake that either of us had ever eaten. This is very menacing. I'm gonna do it into 10 slices, I reckon. Oh my God, I'm so nervous. It's a wedge. Oh my Yum. Look at that. That looks so moist. Moist. Ugh. Horrible word. And look at that. Sorry, it's so dark. <laughs> it is so much later than I thought. I am very pleased. Shall we give it a try? Oh yeah. Pretty mm. good. Mm. Yeah, it's so like spongy. Mmm. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Let me try some. Yeah. Oh my god. That's like the definition of like melt in your mouth. Mm. It's so creamy. That was worth the like four and a half hours. <laughs> That's so good. That is it. That is my first Great British Bake Off bake with me. Let's get baked, Emma's baked tangle, whatever. I'm gonna slice this up and go and take this to some loved ones so that they can all eat cake. Let me know down below if you guys are gonna get the Great British Bake Off box next month. If you are, I'll bake it with you and it'll be super fun. I'm gonna sit down now. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.